something very new that I uh, discovered recently. Um, I actually knew about it. My mentor told me about it, but I didn't pay no mind. And recently I was like, wait a minute, this makes a lot of freaking sense. Let me watch some content on it. And there is no content, by the way, on this right now. It's called Cash Value Collateral Loans. There is like no content on this whatsoever. The only person that has content uh, to a certain degree, like, like a good amount of content, is my mentor, Steve Parisi. He has a YouTube channel, IBC Global. Look that up and start watching some content on, obviously, the infinite banking concept if you're approaching that, right? Most of my viewers are still on velocity banking, right? We're wiping out debt, getting the cash flow up. We're acquiring our credit lines, building our income, managing our expenses, right? Okay, building credit, things like that. But I do have a nice group of people that are in the infinite banking stage. They already have policies put in place. They're already, you know, uh, uh, doing velocity banking and infinite banking combined. Well, this topic that I want to cover is going to be for my viewers that are business owners, right? And how this tool can really, really help you a lot. And also, uh, there's some tax deductions that can get included in this, which would normally not be the case because you're dealing with a personal life insurance policy. The, the tax benefit is in the product itself, that it grows tax-free and you can use it tax-free, you know, uh, uh, properly, right? <clears throat> if designed properly. So let's talk about this. Cash value collateral loans. What is it? Basically, it works just like a line of credit, guys. Calculated simple interest. So even though it says loan, it's still a line of credit. So the wording can be a little confusing. They call it cash value collateral loan. A line of credit is technically a loan. The difference is how the interest is calculated and how you can use it. So cash value collateral loan works just like a line of credit simple interest and it's revolving except it kind of works like a secured line of credit where we go to a bank right and the only bank that I know that does cash value collateral loans as of right now is first Northern Bank and Trust and that's the website first northernbank.com you could check it out <clears throat> I have a person that I have to reach out to at that bank that can help you um, so I have not done this myself but I'm in the process of doing it where I'm you know I'm setting up a phone call so I can learn a little bit more uh, and then actually apply for one get one and make it happen so that I can come back and say hey this actually really works um, so that's the bank that's the name works like a line of credit simple interest revolving the interest rate is gonna be low because it's secured it's not an unsecured debt it's a secured debt backed by your cash value in your policy so I can get a loan against my policy for however much cash value I have in there. So instead of me, and this, this will work great for business owners, instead of me taking out a loan that goes into my personal account on my own policy, what we could do is the bank would give us a loan and because it's a business loan if you're a business owner so you're gonna be a business owner with a business checking account and you're gonna ask for a business loan business line of credit right 
So now I have this business line of credit. Let's do a review because my live stream went a little cuckoo on me. So we have cash value collateral loans, it's a line of credit, simple interest, <clears throat> revolving, First Northern Bank and Trust, that's the website, you can check them out, firstnorthernbank.com. This is for business owners. You, get, you can get a business line of credit backed by your cash value at a low interest rate. This was the interest rate that my mentor was using an example for. So I just overestimated and said 5%. But I think in reality, it'll be probably this low based on however much they give you. According to my mentor, you can get a loan backed by the total amount of cash value that you have in there, which is not bad at all. And I was talking about, and like, be, like other policy loans, when you borrow against your own policy, it goes to your personal account, right? That's, that's how that works. But if you're a business owner, the bank will establish a business loan for you. Your cash value never gets violated. It stays. The whole money in there will continue to grow at the dividends. All you're doing is a, I think it's called a collateral assignment. collateral assignment against uh, where, the, where the bank would receive your cash value, I guess if you were to default on the, on the loan, but we wouldn't do that, all right? Um, so, and I believe they have some control over your policy. I don't know how much control. I just know that you're basically securing this loan with the bank, with your cash value. And they give you this low rate. Now you're wondering like, well, Denzel, why would I pay the interest to the bank when I can pay that interest myself? Like you always said, you offset the interest by just paying yourself back over time or letting the loan sit there because your, your um, cash value is gonna continue to grow. But wait a minute, as a business owner, because that's a loan, when you borrow and you use the money for business purchases, right? I could write off the interest, right? And I keep my cash value. I keep growing the cash value. And every year, what I'm thinking about is I'm like, all right, as I add more and more money each and every year to the cash value, can I go back to the bank and just ask them for more money, ask them for an increase, it's secured. This is the best type of secured money you can get. The banks love this because they do this. The banks have cash value life insurance policies all day long. That's their number one asset for, for uh, storing cash safely. It's the safest place to put money. So they're doing it. They see you do it, you approach the bank, you say, hey, I have this. You do what's called a collateral assignment. They give you what you want, however much you want, against how much cash value you have. And so now we take money out. And this would work well for those with no debt, you know, or if you're going to acquire debt you're going to acquire good debt that you can write off the debt and also write off the interest that you paid on that debt, right? And so you're going to use the money for business. This is super cool. You're going to use this for business and you're simply now, guess what? Now we can do velocity banking. I can dump all income 
into that line of business line of credit, take expenses out, keep cash flow in, right? And then keep this uh, uh, cycle going. And I'm, I'm wondering like, okay, now that I have a loan, this, this also builds my credit too on the business side, does it not? Does it not? It should build my business credit as well. Just thinking about other ideas that come to my mind. I'm very new to this. Like I said, I haven't done it myself yet, but I'm in the process of doing it. And um, currently what I'm doing, is so I'll just show you my numbers real quick. So I have policy with Guardian. I'm gonna use my Guardian policy for this. Total cash value in there, 60 plus K, but I have 29K in loans already. So what I was planning on doing by the end of this month is zeroing out the loan, getting rid of it, restoring it back to zero, then approach the bank and I was going to go ahead and do somewhere between 40 and 50K as a line of credit. And then stepping into the new year, what I was thinking about doing is calculating all my expenses, my business expenses for 2020. and trying to pay it all in advance. So if I have contracts, six month, six month contracts with people or one year contract, uh, subscription services that I can pay for the whole entire year, I'm gonna try and pay as many bills, my phone bill, my everything, my, uh, my car lease. I was gonna try and pay everything up front for the whole entire year basically borrow a bunch of money out of it um, because I feel like this year I spent I spent a good amount of money in my business so I know that next year I'll probably spend more than that in my business for expenses growth marketing the whole nine and so I'm gonna pay for all I'm gonna try and pay for all these bills in advance first year of the month first month of the year, January 2020. And then now I'm in debt on the line of credit, paying whatever the interest rate is. My cash value will still be there. The anniversary date, right, is coming up on my policy. I believe the anniversary date is somewhere around April, I forget, I think it's March or April, something like that, where I need to dump in another 70,000. So what I was thinking about doing is instead of using my cash flow to dump in there, since I ran all my expenses through here and I've got it sitting there, I could have all my incoming cash flow just sit in the line of credit right and then maybe borrow again and fund the policy with so I can kind of flip this money really fast right or it's like all right this money is this money so same money right I get a loan the bank against the cash value so now I have the same money being operated and used twice this money is growing tax-free at 5.85%. This money is a loan that I can leverage today and use right now, and I'm getting charged less than 5% on that loan, which that interest rate I'm going to write off in my business. So it's like it doesn't cost me anything at all. And now I'm going to pay for all these things in advance, all these bills, 
which would do what to my cash flow, guys? It would temporarily increase my cash flow because I have that much less bills to even worry about on a monthly basis. So by doing that, let's say my cash flow goes up by like $5,000. So April, uh, January, February, March, April, that's $20,000 plus, I mean, uh, whatever other cash flow I have, I can use a portion of this 70000 I could factor in the expenses that I'm going to pay for anyways and dump it over here for the, for the second policy year. right which adds to the overall cash value which i can then go back to the bank and ask them to increase this based on the amount of expenses that i stuffed over here to grow tax free so i'm using expenses that i'm i'm using money that i'm going to pay that i'm going to spend for 2020. This is money I'm going to spend for 2020. Expenses that I know it's going to come out, but I'm simply sending it all over here so that I can grow tax free and then have the bank give me money to borrow against, which would be my own money. Use that money for business expenses, pay for all my stuff in advance, temporarily increase cash flow to have more money go over there. And then I still have more cash flow sitting in my bank account. Maybe I can use that money to do something else with. Invest in a property, invest in a deal, uh, build my business even further, whatever it is. That money, that extra cash flow that I have, whatever I have in debt over here on the line of credit, I'm simply going to shift it all in here. So I'm going to have, so th this is really never going to be in debt too much because the amount of income that I have coming in per month is all going to get dumped right here. So I'm going to be paying virtually like nothing in interest, even though I'm going to write it off. I'm going to be paying basically nothing in interest. And now I've got even more money growing every single year tax free. And I'm writing off the interest that I'm being charged by the bank. And this builds a great relationship with my bank anyways. They see good activity. They're going to offer me things like credit cards, right? And other loans. Maybe I want to get a conventional loan from mortgage, or maybe I want to get a commercial loan. Wouldn't that put me in a better position with that bank if I'm looking into getting into real estate and I want to be a hard money lender and I want to, like, you know, borrow more funds or stuff like that?